everyone. Welcome to my channel and welcome to this month's edition of a color combo challenge. This is a challenge that I do every month with Gareth Frewer who has created Home with G here on YouTube. So this month's colors were silver, gold, and black. And I'm really excited about this project. I actually had something else in mind than what I originally did, but it didn't come together right, so I went to Plan B, and I like Plan B so much more. <laughs> so what I'm using this month is this beautiful stamp and die set from Stampin' Up. Hi, Deb. So I got this from Deb How. Um, well, not from her, but she's my Stampin' Up rep. And um, so um, this is a beautiful set, and I, I just love it. I love these trees. And that's what I'm using. I'm using... Um, this tree here with a little the group of the trees here and I just love those and I'm using the fur here and I'm also using the dye for this one right here and so um, on this card I'm going to be using some silver as the background of the card and I'm doing a five by seven card so in order to do a five by seven card you just need to start with a piece of 10 inch card stock cut of course, ten this way and seven this way, and then I have a black insert, um, black mat, and this is cut a quarter of an inch smaller than the mat, so four and three quarters by uh, six and three quarters, and then I'm just going to use a small band, and then a piece of gold as well. So let me show you the card that I've already created, and this one I did with the gold background. And this is the card here. And I just love how this came out. I love that metallic ink and um, that I use, which is this right here, is Doecraft. I think I got this from Gareth last year as well. It's the uh, Doecraft's Artiste. It's metallic ink. And I have it in silver and in gold. And um, for my sentiment, I also use my VersaFine ink because it came out a whole lot better than the Memento ink did with stamping the sentiment. And I just left it blank inside until um, I decide who to send it to or whatever. So let's get busy and make one. So, I, like I said, I just have my um, my card here. It's cut, did I say that? I don't even know, I'm so far behind. <laughs> um, it's just a 10 inch piece of paper um, this way and then you just cut it seven inches. I started with a 12 by 12. So that's my card base, I mean my, my card base, and then for the mat. Now for the mat, we're going to be using my Stampin' um, Stamp Perfect here because, oops, left that on there. Let me get this off here. Because with um, these uh, metallic inks and stuff, you really want to make sure you get it perfect. And if you don't get it perfect, you don't get it but one shot here. So, I'm just going to lay my paper down in here first, and we're going to do the trees. And I'll show you how I did that. So, basically, we're going to take um, this right here. This is the first one I did. And all I did was laid it up toward the top of my mat here. Of course, we're going to pick that up. And since this is a silver card, I'm going to use the silver ink. Now, I will have to say, <laughs> these inks are a little hard to um, clean off. But, um, it is well worth the effect. It's just beautiful. And I'm using my Stamp Perfect so that I can get um, a good coverage on there. I don't want to press too hard first because I don't want the ink to get into the cracks and get everywhere so I'm just pressing down and when you use the rubber uh, stamps make sure you take out the little foam insert in your little stamping platform or whatever positioner so I'm just gonna put more ink on there and I'm just building the ink up on here Oh. 
Isn't that pretty? I'm just going to do it one more time. Okay. So that's really pretty. Now what we're going to do is move the paper over. I'm going to turn this upside down because I don't want to uh, ruin that part. And I'm going to peel this off and I'm going to take my wipe and just wipe it a little bit first because when I lay it down, I want to make sure I'm laying it down in the right place and I don't want to smear ink over it if it's not. So I'm just going to take a wipe right quick and wipe over it really quick. And when I get through with this, I'll clean it really good with some of my squeaky clean from Brutus Monroe. Okay. So I'm just going to leave this down where I want it. And I'm going to let the leaves overlap just a little bit on this side. So I'm just finishing up with one more layer of ink on here. And I am rubbing it kind of hard. Okay, so we are all done with that. And just put this to the side for the moment. Now, I'm going to let this ink dry really good because um, it will smear if you don't. Now, I'm going to cut out some trees for our for the card. So I'm just going to cut some strips of paper here. I think this will cover it. Okay. And I'm going to bring the stamp positioner back in. I did use the stamp positioner a lot with this project because I wanted to make sure that with these inks that I was getting proper placement and I did not smear it. Now, with this one, we're going to go with the gold. If you notice on the gold card, to bring in the silver, I use silver trees. And then with this one, I'm going to use the gold for the tree. I'm just going to line this up here. And I'm just going to stamp this the same way. So I'll do the first one and then we'll, and then I'll go ahead. And all I'm going to do is use the die and die cut it. So I'm going to get this done and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got um, my things stamped and then I got them cut out. And the dies cut out really, really nicely. And I know it's kind of hard to see, but they are gold. <laughs> I have to look it to the light. So the next thing we're going to do is take the silver strip that I had. And we're going to glue it right here at the base of the trees. And my strip's a little bit longer, but that's okay. I can trim it off. So I'm just going to take some art glitter glue. And we're just going to glue the 
the strip on. So it's not a difficult card. Um, it's just a little, takes a little time and patience. I'm just going to try to get that as level as possible, even. Okay. And then I'm just going to take my scissors and trim the excess off. Okay, so that's what we got so far. And then what we're going to do is we are going to um, take some of our gold and we're going to edge the card. And I did this with the gold one. I edged it with the silver. And it just really, I don't know if you can see it, the camera picks it up, but it just gives it a really pretty framed look. So all I'm going to do is take the ink pad itself from the back side just going to go over it like that. And I like the way this ink stamp does, because it's really soft, but it really does give a nice pretty edge to it. And it's just another way to bring all three colors together on a card since it's supposed to be black, silver, and gold. And try to be careful not to touch it. Because <laughs> it does smear if you do too much. Okay, I'm just going to put that down for a moment. It's really pretty. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do while all my glue and ink dries, bring our stamp platform back out. And we're going to put this stamp in now, thinking of you this season. And we're actually going to take a piece of our gold paper. And I'm just going to put it down here at the bottom. I know it's really close. I hate putting it up here. I always line my stuff up on the bottom, but... I may move it up this time just a little bit. Okay, we're going to put that right there. And I'm putting it in the middle so I can get a good cut. Okay. And now I'm going to use my VersaFine ink. And you do have to do this a couple of times. Um, there again, I'm trying to be very careful not to get it in between the, the little rubber there so it doesn't smear. but it will take a few times to get it to be dark enough. But I found the Versified ink definitely works better. Oh, sorry, I'm out of frame. Oh, it definitely works better than the... Um, I didn't get that quite straight, but, you know, it's all good. I'm not going to sweat about it. I was trying to say this works better for stamping sentiments than I think the memento ink does. It gives it a crisper look. And it is a little harder to stamp on glitter paper. That's why I'm going over it several times. Okay, so we're going to take this out now. Okay, so we got this stamped out. And I'm just going to snip and try to be careful and get it straight. But if it's not 100% straight, I'm not going to sweat that either. <laughs> okay, so you want it to look homemade, right? So then I'm just going to edge the gold with the silver. Okay. 
and I'm holding it in the middle so it doesn't smear. Okay. And then this is going to go in the middle here. So all I'm going to do is take a piece of the foam tape that I've already cut and put it on the back. And I'm just going to center it between these two trees because that is the middle. Okay, and then I'm going to take my gold trees and glue them onto either side. And what I did, I tried to line it up. There's a, like the group of four trees, and I just sort of tried to line it up in between those trees right there. And do the sort of the same thing on the other side in between those trees. Okay, and then just because you know I'm all about my bling, I'm gonna take some wing castella. And even though this is metallic and it does show up, you know, you have it depends on how it hits the, the light. For me, it's just not shiny enough. So <laughs> I'm gonna add some wing castella to it. Just on the outside edges of where the die cut was, where it left the black edges, which this really does cut out really pretty. And this Wink of Stella was gifted to me by my friend Virginia Story. Y'all know I love my bling. <laughs> I have to find a way to get in here. I have to tell you that I love how this gold looks around the edges of the paper. It's very pretty. And I love the look of the silver, too. All right, so now we're just going to adhere it to our card base. Isn't that pretty? It just sort of, it just really stands out against that silver. I love this little bottle of art glitter glue. It was, um, I got it when maybe it was having a fundraiser. And since I have big bottles of refills of the art glitter glue, I just keep it handy because it's nice to work with, with projects. Okay. So I'm just going to sort of center this. Kind of eyeball it. Since it's got wet glue, it's easier to do. There we go. Oh, that's so pretty. So that is our card for this month's color combo challenge. 
silver, gold, and black. And I'm quite pleased with the way they turned out. I think they're really pretty. If you hold them up to light, it's my lighting in here. I apologize for that, but I just think that's really pretty. There's the silver one and the gold one. I'm not sure which one is my favorite. I'm kind of leaning toward the gold, honestly. I usually love silver, but I'm really leaning toward the gold. But tell me which one is your favorite, the silver or the gold, or both. So that's this week, um, silver, gold, and black. Now, next month, we will continue to do our challenge. We've decided that we are going to continue on into the new year, but we will be on a different day. We are going to be on, I want to say the first Wednesday of the month, but I will definitely let you know as we get closer to January. So thank you for tuning in. Please don't forget to go over to Gareth's channel and check his video out for the month, and I will leave his link below in the description box. Thank you so much for joining me. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this project, and don't forget to give. let me know which one your favorite is. And if you've not subscribed to my channel, please do so by hitting the subscribe button and also tapping that bell. All right, thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you all later. Bye.